Hey guys, welcome back to Mighty Morphin DJ. I'm DJ, and today we got a 30 second clip of the Power Rangers Once and Always 30th Anniversary episode. So we're going to take a look at the clip real quick, and then we're going to break down some of the things that we see. So let's go ahead and take a look. Pressing play in 3, 2, 1. Alpha and I have been experimenting with the secondary connections of the grid. We made these proxy power coins as a contingency. Now all of you can use dino powers. Well, Zordon was very clear. Duplicating active powers is very dangerous. I don't care how don't dangerous too much pink energy is. Once a ranger? Always a ranger. You definitely count us in. All right, first up, there's been injuries reported already in Angel Grove. We cannot let the putties run rampant any longer. If that's the case, it's Morphin time! Cool. All right, now we've seen the clip. Let's break it down. There wasn't a lot, but there's a little bit. Just enough to make you smile, you know? So the first thing we saw was Alpha pull out the proxy power coins. And these are clearly the legacy power coins from the original uh, Power Rangers Legacy Collection, Power Morpher. They had that more weathered wear and tear look. You can even see the ridging along the sides of them there. And, uh, I mean, there's nothing else that those could be. Those are Bandai's Power Rangers Legacy Collection Power Coins. Those are my favorite release of the Power Coins. I think they look really, really good. I love I love how they're not really shiny. You know, they got more of a dinge look to them. And it makes them easier to look at. And it makes it much easier to see all the detail in them. I just, I love those. And the fact that they use this. Bandai was before. Hasbro is now. And Hasbro is actually allowing us to pay tribute to Bandai in this clip. Which... That's pretty cool, you know, unless they just missed it, in which case somebody's getting fired. But <laughs> but, uh, but that's pretty cool. I liked it. So those are the Legacy Power Coins. I like that a lot. Now, the next thing that's worth mentioning is Zack is showing some hesitation, and he says that Zordon was very clear that duplicating powers, uh, active powers, was very dangerous. I don't remember that. I have watched every episode of every season of Power Rangers ever including the seasons that i did not like and i do not remember any episode where zordon said that maybe he did and i just missed it there were a lot of episodes where they just threw out random jargon as a explain it away kind of situation depending on what the story of the episode was and there were three seasons of mighty Morphin, so there's a good chance that he did say and i missed it but i personally don't remember that so it seems to me like they're just throwing some dialogue out there just for the sake of throwing some dialogue out there. But I could be wrong. So this is one that made me chuckle. So after Zack, uh, you know, raises his objections, Kat steps up and says, I don't care how dangerous too much pink energy is. And that kind of made me chuckle because that's a line from an episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, uh, it was the, I forgot the name of the episode, but it was, it was the Wild West Rangers. Uh, Kimberly, Kat wasn't even on the show yet. Kimberly had gotten sent back in time to uh, Wild West Angel Grove, and she had to provide the power coins of that time period to the ancestors of her current team of rangers so they could fight off Goldar's invasion of the past. And while she's at the command center telling Zordon what's going on and everything, she asks about the power coins, and she asks if she can use the... and, and or She asks about the power coins, and Zordon says... You know, too much pink energy is dangerous because uh, they were kind of thinking, well, maybe Kimberly can double up on her pink power coin because she's got hers from the future. And then there's also the one from the past sitting right there. And that line has just gone down in infamy. Too much pink energy is dangerous. It was funny. So I really like that they threw that in there because even though Amy Jo Johnson was not in the special or at least as far as we know, she's not. They let Cat throw that line out there. I thought that was cool. So I like that. I like that a lot. And then after that, we get the build up to Zack saying it's Morphin Time. And then they go into the logo for the show. And they do an electric guitar riff of the theme song, which is really cool. So there wasn't a whole lot in that. But it was a little something. And it had a couple of Easter eggs in there that I liked. So that was pretty cool. Well, anyway, guys, I know this was short and sweet. But I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. So... You know, if you've enjoyed this video, please check out this video right here and let me know what you think of it in the comments below. But in the meantime, this has been Mighty Morphin DJ. I'm DJ, and you know what time it is.